Your ex is a demon and in this video I'm going to give you five reasons why you should never ever ever forgive your ex. No, I'm just kidding. Your ex is not a demon and if you're thinking otherwise you deserve a knock on your head for actually falling in love with a demon in the first place. In this video we're going to be talking about something very very important and I suggest you watch this video till the end. This is not just a um, random YouTube thing. Yeah, watch this video till the end because you forgiving your ex might not really be for him or for her. You forgiving your ex is actually for your own good and in the end of this video you will understand why. Okay, you know most times when we are hurt by our ex, when our heart was broken into 20 or 30 pieces by our ex and we feel that we cannot survive this, it's too much for us to handle, we are feeling this pain, we cry every night when we remember what happened, it's as if we are going to end our life, we are not going to survive, we're not going to make it and then when we finally pick up pieces of ourselves and then buckle up ourselves, manage to move on. We have this hatred, this passionate hatred for our ex for breaking our heart. Yes, it's normal. It's normal. And then when you keep on this hatred for a very long time, that's where it becomes problem because you're going to be moving to a new relationship. You're going to be meeting someone innocent with that grudges in your heart. And what it's going to do is that it's going to cause you to move into another relationship with so much walls and defenses and you're trying to guard your heart from being broken again. You're going to, you're, you're trying to guard your feelings from being messed up with because you are still scared of the, the, the past. You are still um, reminding yourself of how terrible your ex was uh, how uh, bad he hurt you so much you understand when you are thinking about all these things subconsciously you will not commit 100% to in your present relationship and I keep on saying this if you're not committing 100% if you're not giving it fully in relationship it's either black or white yeah it's either you're giving in 100% or nothing yeah, you don't you don't manage it you don't fake it once you're not committing 100% you're going to get tired of that relationship because when the storms the ups and downs of relationship steps in and then you're not in fully you find out that you will automatically be out of it yeah so you forgiving your ex is for your own benefit because it's going to make you have a better relationship in the future because some persons after having their first love for instance you know most people think that we exhaust our love on our first love. Yes, the person you fell in love with for the first time, maybe you just hit puberty or adolescent age, and then you saw this guy or this girl, he got your attention and then you give in, you fell in love with him. And then along the line, the relationship didn't work out again. You find it difficult to forget about the person, number one, and then you find it difficult to love another person the same way you love this person. It's not that we don't have enough love again to um, love another person the same way we did, but we suddenly develop this immunity. Yes, this immunity comes in us subconsciously. And then that immunity is coming because we keep reminding ourselves of how bad a person our ex is. Yes, that he is so terrible that he hurt us so much. I mean, who on earth can hurt his fellow human being like that without remorse, without um, um, apologizing and so many other things. So you're trying to reserve yourself. You're trying to guard your heart. You're not trying to love another person that much so that in case if that person will hurt you, the, feel, the feeling and the pain will not be as severe as the previous one. And once you start guiding all of these things, once you start having all of these thoughts in your head, it's going to mess up your next relationship. That's why some people, after their first breakup um, and they move into another relationship, you find out that that relationship don't last as long as the previous one. And even if it lasts, it's not as flavored and, um, and, and as sweet as the, the, the first one because now they are moving in with so much consciousness they are moving in with so much walls and defenses yes to help them not to get hurt um, the same way they their ex did okay so now what do I mean by forgiving your ex it's easy to meet up with someone and say I've forgiven you I don't have anything against you but it's another thing to actually mean those words when you say I forgive 
You know, when you say, I forgive somebody, and then you actually want to implement it, it means you are neglecting. Even if, I'm not talking about forgetting that because heartbreak is very difficult to forget. But when you remember them, you don't count them as anything. When you remember those betrayal, when you remember those time he cheated on you, you were exclusive in the relationship, but he wasn't, he was busy sleeping around with random girls. When you remember all those things, you will just say that, okay, it's what he decided to do at that particular time. Those wrongs doesn't mean that he is a demon. Those wrongs doesn't mean that there, there is no atom of um, goodness inside of him or her, you understand? So you will constantly remind yourself that, okay, the relationship just failed. It doesn't, uh, um, um, it doesn't change the fact that this is someone that I saw fit to give my heart to. This is someone that I felt like I, I saw shelter and safety um, in his or her hands. This is someone that I, I, I decided to build up something strong with. And then suddenly something happened that our plans um, came to a sudden halt. So when you just understand this thing and then you remember the good things you saw in your ex, and then remember that these things might actually be um, his fault or your own fault or nobody's fault. The relationship just ended like that. Maybe a lack of communication or, or, or make it be infidelity or something like that or lack of trust. Once you understand all of these things, it will help you. It will help you forgive. It will help you let go. It will help you move into another relationship with a clean slate. It will help you see your new partner as your first love. It will help you open up your heart once again to giving 100%, to commit 100%, to love and to trust 100% in your present relationship. That way you save yourself the um, unnecessary heartbreak that might come because of um, um, un un unknown fears that you might you might carry over from your previous relationship into your um into your new relationship and also and also forgiving your ex again will um possibly open doors to having maybe a business or other kind of activities with that person in the nearest future so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did subscribe to this channel and then give it a thumb up and until next time bye